Hey guys, for today's video we are doing something green. I decided to switch it up for my warm tones and use some color. So I'm starting off with the Morphe 35B palette and I'm taking this yellow shade. Now this palette is very hit and miss. Not all the shades are to my satisfaction I guess you could say. Um, so some of these do take a lot of building up. And then I'm going to take this green color here and I'm going to put that into the crease as well and this one did take a lot of building up to do and then I'm gonna go back with the yellow shade just to blend out the harsh lines now I do have to say with this palette the pigmentation is not the best but the blendability is definitely there And then I'm going to go in with the darkest green and I'm blending that into the crease with a smaller, more precise blending brush. And I was going to put this color on the lid as well to make more of a darker green smoky eye, but this color came out a lot more vibrant than what I had expected. So I decided to go in with the 35U palette and I mixed two green shimmer shades together and I packed that onto the lid and that gave me more of a punch than the other color by itself. I think if you're looking for a colorful palette, I would recommend going with something else, maybe with something like NYX, I know they have one, or Smashbox or something like that, because this one is just too inconsistent for me. And then I'm gonna blend out with that darker green color from the 35B palette. With some good eyeshadows and some blending brushes of different sizes, this look honestly is very easy to achieve. Now I'm just blending out with all of the colors that we used previously. Moving on to the inner tear duct and I'm using the color Lucky Clover from the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and yeah I'm just applying that to the very inner corner. And then to highlight the brow bone I'm using Prosecco Pop from Becca Cosmetics. And then for the lower lash line, as usual, just like I do with pretty much all my makeup looks, I just use the crease colors, but on the lower lash line, just in the same order, same thing, pretty self-explanatory. The eyelashes that I used were the Eyelore Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes, and I didn't show myself applying them just because, well, I always do it first of all, and then these are very hard to apply, like they're very tricky, and I couldn't figure it out. They came out decent, but they're not my favorite. Moving on to the face, I'm using the Too Faced Cosmetics Sun Bunny Bronzer, and I don't think I've ever used this on camera before, but this is one of my favorite bronzers. It is shimmery, and typically in the summertime, I like to go more for a shimmery bronzer than a matte bronzer, just because I like to look like a bronzed, glowy goddess. I'm using this Marc Jacobs blush in the color Kink and Kisses, and it is... It has a very pretty price tag, but I have been loving it recently. I think it is totally worth the price because I have been so obsessed with it. The formula is amazing. It's definitely a favorite. And then to highlight my cheekbones, I'm starting off with Prosecco Pop. And then over the top of that, I'm going in with Lucky Clover. And yes, I'm putting green highlighter on my face and I am not ashamed. Go big or go home. And then with just Prosecco Pop, I'm using that to highlight my nose and the cupid's bow. And I completely forgot to contour my nose in this video, which is so unlike me. Luckily, it did not look that bad.
And then to finish off this look, I'm using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade of Go Go. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. All the links to my social media will be linked down below as well as all the products I mentioned in this video. And I will see you guys next time. If you have any brothers, go go tell them to go check out my channel. Fox Boy Science and thank you for watching my and video. Oh, it's...